Have you ever been watching the Olympics or seen a track and field event and found yourself examining the different athletes? If you have, you've probably spotted the insane difference between the long haul type runners and the short dash super sprinters, right? We're talking about the long distance runners with their lean, marathon ready physiques versus the sprinters who are all about that muscle, looking like they could give bodybuilders a run for their money. It's like comparing spaghetti to meatballs. But here's the million dollar question. Why do these athletes look so different when they're all essentially running for their lives? And here's the kicker. What if you could unlock the secret behind these differences to sculpt your own physique into something more athletic and healthy? Hold on to your sneakers because we're about to dive into the fascinating world of sprinting and what it can do to the human body. Picture this, you're eyeballing the wide world of workouts, trying to pick the champion of them all for muscle building, fat torching, and making you feel like a superhero. Well, hold on to your gym shorts because sprinting might just be the dark horse you're looking for. Let's break it down, shall we? First off, let's talk about muscle fibers. While long distance running and your typical aerobic workouts love to cozy up with slow twitch muscle fibers, sprinting is all about those fast twitch fibers. These are the Arnold Schwarzeneggers of your muscle fibers. Bigger, stronger, and ready to pump you up when trained regularly. It's like comparing a chihuahua to a German shepherd in the muscle world. Now, if the promise of bulking up isn't enough, sprinting throws in a sweetener, a hormone cocktail that includes testosterone and growth hormone. And when I say throws in, I mean it launches those levels through the roof, with growth hormone spiking to 2000%. I scoured the fitness universe and let me tell you, no other physical activity pumps up your growth hormone like sprinting. It's like the difference between a water gun and a fire hose. This hormone fiesta not only helps you stay young and heals injuries like Wolverine, but also burns fat while protecting your precious muscles. Diving into the geeky goodness of research, sprinting has been shown to reduce body fat by 40% more than even HIIT workouts, which is like comparing a flamethrower to a match when it comes to torching fat. And compared to the old school long distance cardio, Sprinting is 92% more effective in reducing body fat. Plus, it's a time saver, making it the ultimate minimalist workout for getting lean and mean without living at the gym. But wait, there's even more. Sprinting isn't just about looking good, it's about enhancing your explosive power and endurance for high intensity fun. Whether you're dodging life's curveballs of dreaming of becoming an athletic superstar, sprinting has your back. Also, let's talk about the spinal engine. No, it's not a part of your car, but a super cool system in your body that helps transfer energy during all those athletic moves, from sprinting to throwing a punch. Sprinting tunes this engine to perfection, making it a must do for any athlete looking to bring the power. So in the grand gymnasium of workouts, if you're after a routine that packs a punch, slices through fat like a hot knife through butter, and keeps you agile and strong, sprinting is your ticket to the championship. All right. If you're about to dive into the world of sprinting and you're picturing yourself as the next Usain Bolt, hold your horses, or should I say, your sneakers. Here are some beginner-friendly form cues to kickstart your journey without looking like you're trying to outrun your shadow. First up, let's talk about your relationship with the ground. When you're sprinting, you want to push off the ground with power. Imagine you're a cartoon character, not just running, but actually trying to push the earth away behind you. Yeah, it sounds like something of a Looney Tunes episode, but this mental image helps fire up those posterior chain muscles, the real MVPs in the sprinting game. Next, we're aiming for that running tall look, which doesn't mean sprinting in platform shoes. It means keeping your posture upright and lifting those knees high, almost as if there's a mini hurdle under each step. You want your knees to reach a height that's somewhere around parallel to the ground. This isn't just for show, it gives your muscles the space they need to launch you forward like a human rocket. And now for the most zen advice you'll probably ever get about high intensity exercise, chill out. Yes, you heard that right. While sprinting is about going all out, trying to force yourself to 100% effort can actually turn you into a tight, slower version of yourself. It's like trying to sprint in a straitjacket. Most athletes find they can actually pick up speed when they dial it back to 90%. It's all about finding that sweet spot where you're relaxed enough to let your body do its thing, letting your movements flow like a well-rehearsed dance routine. So there you have it. Push the ground away like you're mad at it. Run like you're modeling invisible high heels and relax like you're on vacation but still need to catch that flight. With these tips, you'll be sprinting smoother, faster, and more efficiently in no time. Now, are you ready to turn your regular jog into a turbocharged, leg-burning, heart-pumping adventure? Then it's time to talk about sprint interval training, the secret sauce to leveling up your running game. 
Let's break it down into bite-sized, easily digestible pieces, kind of like your favorite snack, but for your workout routine. Imagine this, you're about to embark on a fitness journey that's a mix between a sprinting superstar and a leisurely jog in the park. You kick things off with a five to 10 minute jog. This isn't just any jog though, it's the appetizer, warming you up and getting you ready for the main course. Next up, you might do some light stretching or mobility work. Let's face it, we want our muscles feeling like flexible rubber bands, not stiff spaghetti. Now here comes the fun part. Four sprints of 20 seconds each, where you're giving it your all, as if you're running from your responsibilities. Just kidding, we face those like champions. Between these sprints, you're taking a luxurious four minute break. Yeah, you heard that right. This isn't just downtime, it's your chance to catch your breath, daydream a little, and prepare for the next round of speed. As you get more comfortable, or dare I say adventurous, you can add more sprints to your routine and play around with the distances. It's like leveling up in a video game except you're getting faster and stronger in real life. And for those who want to spice things up and add a bit of challenge, why not try uphill sprints? They're like the hot sauce of sprint training. Intense, a little scary, but so freaking satisfying. Hill sprints not only give your legs that extra strength boost, but also improve your sprint technique by forcing you to drive those knees up higher than you even thought was possible. And that's the gist of it. A sprint training session that's as varied and exciting as your favorite playlist. Start with the basics, jazz it up as you go along, and remember, whether it's flat ground or hills, the goal is to have fun, get fast, and maybe pretend you're in a superhero training montage. Okay, have you ever thought about taking your sprinting game to the beach? No, I'm not talking about a slow motion Baywatch jog, but actual sand sprinting. If you're lucky enough to have a beach nearby, or even a long stretch of sand pit, for those who don't live in a picture-perfect coastal area, then you've got the perfect setting for an epic workout that packs a punch. Sprinting on sand is like adding a secret ingredient to your fitness recipe. It fires up those tiny stabilizer muscles in your feet and lower legs that you didn't even know existed. Why does this matter? Well, it's fortifying your ankles and knees with an invisible shield, making them more injury-proof. However, it's a bit like being thrown into the deep end on your first swimming lesson. Start slow, especially if your lower limbs have had a rough past. Now for the sciencey bit. Running on the sand basically mutes the typical boing effect your feet have on hard ground. This elastic rebound usually helps propel you forward, giving your legs a bit of a break. But in sand, your legs are getting no such help. This means your core muscles, especially those sneaky obliques, have to work overtime, rotating your spine like they're stirring a giant cauldron. And the result? A core so strong and toned, you'll be ready for your Instagram debut. Or, you know, maybe a surprise boxing match with Mr. T. So if you're up for a challenge that's a tad bit unconventional, sand sprinting might just be your new best friend. It's a fantastic way to toughen up those legs, bulletproof your joints, and carve that core that can double as a washboard. Plus, who doesn't love the added bonus of working out with a view? Just remember to start slow, respect your body's limits, and maybe keep an eye out for any beach volleyballs flying your way. So maybe you don't have a beach near you and you're looking to spice up your sprint training beyond the beach. There's a whole world of alternative terrains that offer unique challenges and benefits to keep your workouts exciting and effective. From the joint-friendly grass fields and scenic trails to the cold endurance test of snow fields, there's something for every adventurous sprinter. Soft tracks and AstroTurf provide a happy medium between hard pavement and the forgiving nature of sand, offering less impact with adequate resistance. For those seeking a tougher challenge, muddy or wetland areas can offer significant resistant training, similar to sand, but with its own unique twist. Yeah, you'll kind of get a little dirty. Each terrain not only diversifies your training environment, but also helps in building a comprehensive strength and agility that can boost your running further. Remember, variety is not just the spice of life, but also the secret to a well-rounded sprint training routine. Just make sure to ease into new terrains to minimize injury risk. Sprinting isn't just a fast track to fitness, it's a full body upgrade. From torching calories and boosting your metabolism to building stronger muscles and bones, sprinting packs a punch in your workout routine. It's not just about physical perks, your heart gets healthier, and your mind gets a dose of feel-good endorphins, improving your mental clarity and mood. Plus, sprinting might just be the fountain of youth. With benefits like longer telomeres and better mitochondrial health hinting at a longer, healthier life, it even improves flexibility and mobility, making you more agile in your day-to-day -day activities. 
So in short, incorporating sprints into your exercise regime offers a holistic boost to both body and brain, making it a powerhouse of a workout. Okay, everyone, that's a wrap for today. Thanks for tuning in. If you found yourself nodding along or even learning a thing or two, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Until we meet again, keep those feet moving, my friends. And hey, don't forget to flex your new knowledge and glow with the results. Catch you next time.